I decided to immerse myself into the Indian lifestyle. I wanted to see the real India. My name is Rodrigo Alves. I'm 34 years old. Four years ago, I became known for my extreme makeover with the help of plastic surgery. And the press nicknamed me as the Human Life Candle. Plastic surgery veteran Rodrigo Alves is known for his fast-paced and luxurious lifestyle. He's had over 50 plastic surgeries and numerous cosmetic procedures, spending almost half a million dollars, all to aid in his quest to reach his ideal look. My life involves a lot of uh, cameras, filming, makeup, and on my time off, I have been able to travel and to explore amazing destinations here and get to know the people and learn what India is really about. My trip started in Delhi. From Delhi, I traveled to Agra, where Taj Mahal is. After Agra, I traveled to Jaipur, and I have been having one of the most amazing experiences of my life. It is my very last day here in India and I would like to do some extra exploring. I'm just going to be going to places that I have missed. Just need to do a few photos, a few selfies. I think that my hair looks good now. Well, right now I'm the road, just going to the Eden Gate. Right here in front of me, that's the Indian Gate. Do you guys know what the Indian Gate, the meaning of it? What does that mean? People, everyone stare at me, and they stare at me because I'm blonde and because I look different as well. Uh, I wear makeup, I look different and very different. Well, in fact, I look different anywhere I go. And I guess there's everywhere I go. But here in India is quite overwhelming. Do you know the history of it? Uh, do you know the meaning of the Indian Gate? I would like to find someone that actually knows the meaning of the Indian Gate. Uh, anybody knows better the meaning of the Indian Gate? The history? Right. Everywhere I go, I see people with their telephones and just like taking photos and they want to take photos with me and not even knowing who I am. Right. So, I'm ready to carry on. Oh. I'm ready to carry on with my touristic excursion and trying to find someone that actually knows the meaning of the Indian gauge. They find my looks quite fascinating. I don't know if they think that I'm beautiful or not. Uh, they definitely find me very weird here. So do you know the meaning of the Indian game? Do you know the meaning? He doesn't know the meaning. He doesn't know It's been wonderful being here. Lots of people. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> Have you all a good day. Namaste. Namaste. Well, I'm so full right now. I have learned how to use my fingers instead of use knife and fork, each with my hand and the food is superb. I would like to come back to India uh, February next year again. Wow. All of it. Oh wow, there's a sword as well. Here in India there is a very good doctor that performs this eye color change pretty much daily basis. So I may have the eye color change and if I am to do it, I'll do it here in Delhi. Well, I have just ordered the most beautiful outfit here and they're gonna be delivered at my hotel later tonight. So I shall look forward to see what's gonna look like. 
Well, it's come to the end of my day here in Delhi. I have been doing lots of walking around today. I do attract a lot of attention here. So everywhere that I go, I'm surrounded by people asking for selfies or just really staring at me. I have been to India on in the past, but it is actually the very first time that I have had the chance to learn a little bit more about the culture and the history. I am amazed with what I have learned and what I have seen. People are very special here. The food is the best. <laughs> oh, gosh, everything has been amazing. Everything has been really fantastic. This trip really made me realize that there is much more to life. And I definitely have learned a lot that I'm gonna take on board a uh, daily basis in my life.